What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. Today, it is, what, it's almost 7 p.m. And today is Sunday, which means it is our feed day. And we have a bunch of new critters to show you all. Please don't look at my messy house um, because we are uh, moving some stuff around and cleaning some stuff. We have a new green tree python to feed today and a few other things. So stick with us because this is gonna be a good one. Keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are. I still think of you, I want you coming back. I remember when we were staring photo. Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes. And I keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are. I still think of you, I want you coming back. And as always, before we get started, We'd like to give a huge shout out to our page. <laughs> I, I <really> am me. <laughs> yeah. And as always, before we start this video, we would like to give a huge shout out to all of our patrons on Patreon who are donating. Um, we have some really exciting, exciting things happening for us, you guys. We just got the approval for our nonprofit. We are waiting to hear back about our 501c3. Um, that should be approved within the next few weeks or so. Um, we just filed all of that stuff with the IRS. So we will almost officially be a 501c3 probably in the next month, maybe two months at most, cause you know, they take kind of a long time to do anything. So alongside of us, like filing for all of our paperwork to become a legal 501c3, we also just got board approved to teach at all of the local schools in our area. So we have been nonstop educating children, doing all the things, taking our critters pretty much everywhere that you can think of in our area. We are also hosting a giant expo in June called the Jungle Jam. If you guys are subs here, if you follow me on TikTok, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pip in the um, information here. You can screenshot it and whatever. Um, we hope to see anyone and everyone who wants to come. It's gonna be a huge deal. We're gonna have live music, food trucks. We're gonna have a petting zoo. All my animals will be there, our local humane society, um, a really awesome pet store in our area called We Love Pets. They're going to be there as well. <clears throat> so we are working diligently on that. Um, but something else exciting, we are actively trying to find a facility for not only our sanctuary for the 501c3, but eventually a zoo in our area, which is going to be really cool. So stick with us. Make sure you're subscribing, liking, and sharing all of our stuff. And make sure you guys stay tuned for uh, the stuff that's coming in the future because it's going to be big. Okay, so we are at the building getting our rats. Got a list of everybody who's eating today. And we're going to go... figure out oh I left the bags in the car <laughs> sorry babe okay so we've got a bunch of frozen ones here all right all right and then Mabel will get one of this size so Mabel uh, let's see who else can have one of that size stream Stripper in the temple thing, maybe? Yeah. Um, which, the reason I only got out one is because sometimes they won't eat. Sometimes they will eat. Oh, Rocky Balboa can eat that. Yeah. Or should we give him a smaller one? Because he ate last week. Give him a smaller one. We're trying to pack some weight on a few of our snakes. Specifically, our boas, most of our boas are under, underweight. What's that size? Is that bigger? Does that look bigger? No, it's the same. Its okay. head's just, I don't know. 
Now this is definitely big. So we'll give that one to Jafar. Don't try this at home. It's first. Um, okay. Who's next? Lester. Oh, that's broken. So Lester can have one of those are even too big for Lester. Um, spaghetti. We get one of these little ones. No, those will go to our Korea Brits. So we'll do okay. Dr. Pepper. Beetlejuice. Okay. So we got Dr. Pepper, Beetlejuice, Hoggle, and Sally. Now, spaghetti. He can eat one of these too. These are falling off here. Okay, spaghetti. Um, Nirvana gets a pinkies. Rocky and Lucian, I guess, can get some of those littler ones. Do we have some at the house too? Um, not this size. Oh. Not the right size. Rocky and Lucian. Um, who else? Lester. There's one for Lester at the house. Leonard can eat the ones at the house that Lester will eat. And Goliath has to have one of the big jumbos. So let's put these back. Okay. Getting ready to feed everybody. This rack is all getting fed today. Actually, I think just like everybody's getting fed today. We're hoping Hoggle will eat. She's been refusing food for a hot minute, um, which is normal because she's new here and it takes, sometimes it takes a long time for them to get acclimated. But this big boy's eating today. This little beauty's eating today. Pretty girl. She's so cute hoping to get this little guy to eat today wherever he is these guys are eating today our little savannah monitors let's see if we can see one. Oh, there's basil hanging out up there alfonso must be hidden somewhere he's gonna eat today. We gotta spray down our arthropod rack. Oh, look he's out. Sunning himself. Salvador Dali hanging out. I don't know if you can see Marvin or not. Okay, so it looks like Goliath is ready to eat. We had to secure this side a little bit more because Goliath is so strong and we didn't want him to get over there to the other side because he shares this enclosure. But I'm ready to feed him. Are you ready? I think we should do Grover first. You should definitely use tongs. Always, always use tongs. Hey, buddy. Where's his head? I don't know. I think it's on the back side there. Yeah, here he goes. He's coming. You know what? There's his head. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh he was ready. That was good. That was perfect. Though. That worked out really good, didn't it? Yeah. Now, how do I get it back on? Oh, I can help you if you want. There we go. 
Grover's a phenomenal eater. He's been a great eater since we first brought him home, even when he was covered in mites and had a stuck shed and was super emaciated. He's packed on a ton of weight since we got him and he literally does not hesitate for food. So we got lucky with him. Usually, sometimes actually, not usually. When they're sick like that, they have been known to refuse food. So not Grover. Nope. He loves it, doesn't he, babe? Yes. Also, again, please do not try this at home. Always use tongs. I have been feeding these guys for a long time by hand. So I'm very cautious and I know how they all act. So I know which ones I can feed like this and which ones I can't. Goliath is a very calm boy. He doesn't usually strike very hard and he rarely ever misses the rat. Can you see him? Mm -hmm. Is he looking at it? Yeah, he's looking at it. <laughs> he's so gentle. <laughs> yeah. He's just big. I got a good angle right here too. That's like it's even off right there. Or was it? Is that Arthur? Yeah. Mm. The one I will not feed by hand, even though this guy is pretty large. The one I will not feed by hand is definitely, um, definitely Jafar. His food response is insane. He's just crazy. Goliath did good. These two, it's fine. This is another one I don't really enjoy feeding by hand, but he's pretty quick. And he typically, <sighs> He typically doesn't miss the mouse either. He's gonna pull that. Sure, you're holding on. He's gonna come find it. All right, guys. Here's Dr. Pepper. See if he takes it. It's a little bit bigger than what he's used to, you know? Look at him, what's he doing? He just has his nose against it. Yeah. He's so gentle. That was very gentle. <laughs> As Dr. Pepper typically is. He's probably our most gentle eater. He just very delicately takes his... Sorry. Sorry. He just very gently takes his feeder. Literally every time. He started dancing. He might want a different one. Maybe he doesn't like that one. Maybe he wants this one because it looks more like him. Still gonna refuse. That's okay. We'll feed. We'll see if Hoggle will eat next. Oh, look, he's out. Look, he's ready. Temple time. Tempe. Tempe time. Mabel. Leonard. Templeton. And Templeton actually was refusing food for a hot minute. Nope. <laughs> Not anymore. He's been pretty excited about food. I don't see Stricter Man. He's in his hide. All right, Lucian, or I mean Lester. Lester. 
Mister. That way. Uh. Oh, yeah, he'll come right out. This boy loves to eat. He gets, where's his, right here. Always. This guy never has an issue eating. I've had this guy for almost seven years and he has never stopped eating one time. He's insanely fast. Most ball pythons go through periods where they stop eating, but not him. Nope. Good eater. Um, these girls need to eat. Look, Sophia's already out looking at him. Who's next? Stricter man, I'm sorry you ate last week, buddy. You're 20. You just don't burn the calories like you used to. All right. Some urates and some fecal matter here. See if you can't tap on that yet. It's probably under his water. Nope. There, he's over here. By his little coconut hide thing. Okay, right here says, remember last week he was, Wait, oh, he shed. shed. This to here. I don't even see his head, do you see? Guess what we didn't get, a pinky for Nirvana. Oh yeah, that won't take long to. <laughs> There's Phineas, our little juvenile California king. He's the sweetest boy. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, he's not sweet at all. There's a pretty good angle over here. I can see his head right there. His head's right there. His head and his mouth's right there. It's just glaring. Glaring off. Sweet. She just always does a little. A little crazy. Crazy pants. I'm not really sure how he was being fed. Could be frozen thawed. Oh, look, he shed. He shed great. <laughs> she just throws a fit me back here. Okay, so Sally, if you watched our one of our previous videos, is a 26-year-old corn snake. Exit. So we just give her smaller feeders. 
because she's very old. So her metabolism slowed down quite a bit. But she does get the smaller feeders. The older the snakes get, the slower their metabolism. She's a good eater though. Look at Temple's head. Look at a little stricter man in there. Yeah, he wants to eat, doesn't he? Yeah, I might give him one of these littles. He doesn't need it, but. Let's see spaghetti and eat. Luckily, ball pythons can go up to six months without food, or I would be probably a little worried, but I'm not. He's fine. Handsome boy. Handsome. Good job. Good job, Alfie. That's yummy, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, guys, so you got to see pretty much all of our animals eat today, except for a few. Um, we forgot Jafar's rat for some reason, but it's okay, because we can feed him tomorrow. He's, he's not hurting for food. He's right there, and he's definitely not hurting for food. But everybody else has eaten. Um, I forgot to thaw Pinky for Nirvana, but we're getting her Pinky right now. Spaghetti has not eaten in weeks there's spaghetti spaghetti will also be on our adoption list very soon stricter man wants to eat but stricter just ate last week and he does not need any more food he is a 20 year old ball python um because of his age we feed him three weeks of the month which is plenty for him our sanctuary is kind of messy right now um, you guys got to see Salvador eat his little mouse. He is not eating his greens, which I am very upset about. Marvin the Martian and the turtles. Let me show you guys this. So blue is in a different enclosure. If you've been following me on any of my social media platforms, you know that blue is struggling a lot in this enclosure. I think because it was just too big for her. So this is now Marvin's enclosure. Um, and he shares this enclosure with a couple of slider turtles. 
Chip and Dale. There's Chip. And Dale is somewhere. These slider turtles are always hungry, but they are thriving in here. They really enjoy it. Look how cute. I don't know where, oh, there's Dale somewhere over there. I see him. But they've already eaten today. And Marvin too, huh? Marvin dropped his tail. He only has half of a tail. Look at Nirvana's little shed. Look at that perfect shed. So cute. Look at her little eye holes. See them? There's her mouth. There's her little eye holes. She shed really nicely. She really likes this substrate. If you if you look right here, you can see little holes where she's burrowing. That's just that coconut husk, that ground coconut husk, and corn snakes really like that. And it doesn't cause impaction, so it's one reason why we choose it. But we're gonna feed her if we can get her to. There she is. She knows it's time to eat. Look at her. Can you see her? Here we go. Mm -hmm. Good job. She's so cute. Good job, Nirvana. We got her. Okay guys, do not forget to push the like button. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, do all the things. We have just become a nonprofit organization, so we need all the help that we can get. So please share these videos and get us out there so that we can start getting some donors, so we can get a larger facility for all of our animals. They definitely need it. We definitely need it. Um, we are looking for volunteers currently. If you know anyone in our local area who would like to volunteer, please let us know. Um, other than that, we hope you guys have a marvelous day, night, whatever it is, wherever you're watching. Um, and again, don't forget to subscribe. Keep you in my heart, and my heart is where you are. I still think of you, I want.